Brassicaceae, Brassicaceae, or Cruciferi, is a medium-sized and economically important family of flowering plants commonly known as the mustards, the crucifers, or the cabbage family. Most are herbaceous plants, some shrubs, with simple, although sometimes deeply incised, alternatingly set leaves without stipules or in leaf rosettes, with terminal inflorescences without bracts, containing flowers with four free sepals, four free alternating petals, two short and four longer free stamens, and a fruit with seeds in rows, divided by a thin wall, or septum. The family contains 372 genera and 4,060 accepted species. The largest genera are Draba, 440 species, Arisimum, 261 species, Lepidium, 234 species, Cardamony, 233 species, and Alyssum, 207 species. The family contains the cruciferous vegetables, including species such as Brassica oleracea, for example, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, kale, collards, Brassica rapa, turnip, Chinese cabbage, etc., Brassica napis, rapeseed, etc., Raffinus sativus, common radish, Armoratia rusticana, horseradish, but also a cut flower methula, stalk, and the model organism Arabidopsis thaliana, talacress. Pyrus ripi and other butterflies of the family Pyridae are some of the best known pests of Brassicaceae species planted as commercial crops. Trichoplugiani, cabbage looper, moth is also becoming increasingly problematic for crucifers due to its resistance to commonly used pest control methods. Some rarer pyrus butterflies, such as Pyrus virginiensis, depend upon native mustards for their survival in their native habitats. Some non native mustards, such as garlic mustard, Aliaria petiolata, an extremely invasive species in the United States, can be toxic to their larvae. Carl Linnaeus in 1753 regarded the Brassicaceae as a natural group, naming them class Tetradynamia. Alfred Barton Rendell placed the family in the order Rodales, while George Bentham and Joseph Dalton Hooker in their system published from 1862 to 1883, assigned it to their cohort Parietales, now the class Phileales. Following Bentham and Hooker, John Hutchinson in 1948 and again in 1964 thought the Brassicaceae to stem from near the Pop of Racy Etod in 1994, a group of scientists including Walter Stephen Judd suggested to include the Caparacii in the Brassicaceae. Early DNA analysis showed that the Caparacii, as defined at that moment, were paraphyletic, and it was suggested to assign the genera closest to the Brassicaceae the Cleomachii. The Cleomachii and Brassicaceae diverged approximately 41 million years ago. All three families have consistently been placed in one order variably called Caporales or Brassicales. The APG2 system, merged Cleomachii and Brassicaceae. Other classifications have continued to recognize the Caporacii, but with a more restricted circumscription, either including Cleomi and its relatives in the Brassicaceae or recognizing them in the segregate family Cleomachii. The APG3 system has recently adopted this last solution, but this may change as a consensus arises on this point. Current insights in the relationships of the Brassicaceae, based on a 2012 DNA analysis, are summarized in the following tree. Early classifications depended on morphological comparison only, but because of extensive convergent evolution, these do not provide a reliable phylogeny. Although a substantial effort was made through molecular phylogenetic studies, the relationships within the Brassicaceae have not always been well resolved. Yea. It has long been clear that the Ethionamy are sister of the remainder of the family. One analysis from 2014 represented the relation between 39 tribes with the following tree. The name Brassicaceae comes to international scientific vocabulary from New Latin, from Brassica, the type genus, plus Achee a standardized suffix for plant family names and modern taxonomy. The genus name comes from the classical Latin word brassica, referring to cabbage and other cruciferous vegetables. The alternative older name, cruciferi, meaning cross-bearing, describes the four petals of mustard flowers, which resemble a cross. Cruciferi is one of eight plant family names, not derived from a genus name and without the suffix such e that are authorized alternative names. Version 1 of the plant list website lists 349 genera. Species belonging to the Brassicaceae are mostly annual, biennial, or perennial herbaceous plants, some are dwarf shrubs or shrubs, and very few vines. Although generally terrestrial, a few species such as water all wart live submerged in fresh water. 
They may have a taproot or a sometimes woody caudex hat may have few or many branches, some have thin or tuberous rhizomes, or rarely develop runners. Few species have multicellular glands. Hairs consist of one cell and occur in many forms, from simple to forked, star, tree or T-shaped, rarely taking the form of a shield or scale. They are never topped by a gland. The stems may be upright, rise up towards the tip, or lie flat, are mostly herbaceous but sometimes woody. Stems carry leaves or the stems may be leafless, in Calanthus, and some species lack stems altogether. The leaves do not have stipules, but there may be a pair of glands at base of leaf stalks and flower stalks. The leaf may be seeded or have a leaf stalk. The leaf blade is usually simple, entire or dissected, rarely trifoliolate or pinnately compound. A leaf rosette at the base may be present or absent. The leaves along the stem are almost always alternately arranged, rarely apparently opposite. The stomata are of the anisocytic type. The genome size of Brassicaceae compared to that of other angiosperm families is very small to small, less than 3.425 million base pairs per cell, varying from 150 MBP in Aerodidopsis thaliana and Spherocardum MSPP to 2,375 MBP Bunyas orientalis. The number of homologous chromosome sets varies from 4, n equals 4, in some Fusaria and Stenopetalum species, 5, n equals 5, in other Fusaria and Stenopetalum species, Arabidopsis thaliana and Amathiola species, to 17, n equals 17. About 35% of the species in which chromosomes have been counted have 8 sets, n equals 8. Due to polyploidy. Some species may have up to 256 individual chromosomes, with some very high counts in the North American species of cardamine, such as C. diphila. Hybridization is not unusual in Brassicaceae, especially in Erebus, Roripa, cardamine and Bochera. Hybridization between species originating in Africa and California, and subsequent polyploidization is surmised for Lepidium species native to Australia and New Zealand. Flowers may be arranged in racemes, panicles, or corymes, with pedicels sometimes in the axil of a bract, and few species have flowers that sit individually in flower stems that spring from the axils of rosette leaves. The orientation of the pedicels when fruits are ripe varies dependent on the species. The flowers are bisexual, star symmetrical, zygomorphic in Iberus and Teasdalia, and the ovary positioned above the other floral parts. Each flower has four free or seldomly merged sepals. The lateral two sometimes with a shallow spur, which are mostly shed after flowering, rarely persistent, may be reflexed, spreading, ascending, or erect, together forming a tube, bell or urn-shaped calyx. Each flower has four petals, set alternating with the sepals, although in some species these are rudimentary or absent. They may be differentiated into a blade and a claw or not, and consistently lack basal appendages. The blade is entire or has an indent at the tip and may sometimes be much smaller than the claws. The mostly six stamens are set in two whorls, usually the two lateral, outer ones are shorter than the four inner stamens, but very rarely the stamens can all have the same length, and very rarely species have different numbers of stamens such as 16 to 24 in Megacarpia, 4 in Cardamine hirsuta, and 2 in Cornopus. The filaments are slender and not fused, while the anthers consist of pollen-producing cavities, and open with longitudinal slits. The pollen grains are tricolpate. The receptacle carries a variable number of nectaries, but these are always present opposite the base of the lateral stamens. There is one superior pistil that consists of two carpels that may either sit directly above the base of the stamens or on a stalk. It initially consists of only one cavity but during its further development a thin wall grows that divides the cavity, both placentas and separates the two valves a so-called false septum. Rarely, there is only one cavity without a septum. The 2 to 600 ovules are usually along the side margin of the carpels, or rarely at the top. Fruits are capsules that open with two valves, usually towards the top. These are called silicae if at least three times longer than wide, or silical if the length is less than three times the width. The fruit is very variable in its other traits. There may be one persistent style that connects the ovary to the globular or conical stigma, which is undivided or has two spreading or connivant lobes. The variously shaped seeds are usually yellow or brown in color, and arranged in one or two rows in each cavity. The seed leaves are entire or have a notch at the tip. The seed does not contain endosperm. Brassicaceae have a bisymmetrical corolla, left is mirrored by right, stem side by outside, but each quarter is not symmetrical, a septum dividing the fruit, lacks stipules and have simple, 
although sometimes deeply incised, leaves. The sister family Cleomachii has bilateral symmetrical corollas, left as mirrored be right, but stem side is different from outside, stipules and mostly palmately divided leaves, and mostly no septum. Caparachii generally have a gynophore, sometimes an androgynophore, and a variable number of stamens. Almost all Brassicaceae have C3 carbon fixation. The only exceptions are a few more Condia species, which have a hybrid system between C3 and C4 carbon fixation, C4 fixation being more efficient in drought, high temperature and low nitrate availability. Brassicaceae contain different cocktails of dozens of glucosinolates. They also contain enzymes called myrosinases, that convert the glucosinolates into isothiocyanates, thiocyanates and nitriles which are toxic to many organisms, and so help guard against herbivory. Brassicaceae can be found almost on the entire land surface of the planet, but it is absent from Antarctica, and in some areas in the tropics i.e. northeastern Brazil, the Congo Basin, maritime Southeast Asia and tropical Australasia. The area of origin of the family is possibly the Arano terranean region, where approximately 900 species occur in 150 different genera. About 530 of them are endemics. Next in abundance comes the Mediterranean region with around 630 species, 290 of which are endemic, in 113 genera. The family is less prominent in the Sahara Arabian region, 65 genera, 180 species of which 62 endemic, and North America, comprising the North American Atlantic region and the Rocky Mountain Floristic region, 99 genera, 780 species of which 600 endemic. South America has 40 genera containing 340 native species, Southern Africa 15 genera with over 100 species, and Australia and New Zealand have 19 genera with 114 species between them. Brassicaceae are almost exclusively pollinated by insects. A chemical mechanism in the pollen is active in many species to avoid selfing. Two notable exceptions are exclusive self pollination in closed flowers in Cardamonetion opidifolia and wind pollination in Pringley and Scorbutica. Although it can be pollinated, Aliaria petiolata is self-fertile. Most species reproduce sexually through seed, but Cardamony bulbifera produces gemma and in others, such as Cardamony pentaphylos, the coral-like roots easily break into segments, that will grow into separate plants. In some species, such as in the genus Cardamony, seed pods open with force and so catapult the seeds quite far. Many of these have sticky seed coats assisting long-distance dispersal by animals, and this may also explain several intercontinental dispersal events in the genus, and its near-global distribution. Brassicaceae are common on serpentine and dolomite rich in magnesium. Over a hundred species in the family accumulate heavy metals, particularly zinc and nickel, which is a record percentage. Several alism species can accumulate nickel up to 0.3% of their dry weight, and may be useful in soil remediation or even biomining. Brassicaceae contain glucosinolates as well as myrosinases inside their cells. When the cell is damaged, the myrosinases hydrolyze the glucosinolates, leading to the synthesis of isothiocyanates, which are compounds toxic to most animals, fungi and bacteria. Some insect herbivores have developed counteradaptations such as rapid absorption of the glucosinates, quick alternative breakdown into non-toxic compounds and avoiding cell damage. In the White's family, Pyridae. One counter-mechanism involves glucosinolate sulfatase, which changes the glucosinolate, so that it cannot be converted to isothiocyanate. A second is that the glucosinates are quickly broken down, forming nitriles. Differences between the mixtures of glucosinolates between species and even within species is large, and individual plants may produce in excess of 50 individual substances. The energy penalty for synthesizing all these glucosinolates may be as high as 15% of the total needed to produce a leaf. Bittercress, Barbaria vulgaris, also produces triterpenoid saponins. These adaptations and counter adaptations probably have led to extensive diversification in both the Brassicaceae and one of its major pests, the butterfly family Pyridae. A particular cocktail of volatile glucosinates triggers egg laying in many species. Thus a particular crop can sometimes be protected by planting bittercress as a deadly bait, for the saponins kill the caterpillars, but the butterfly is still lured by the bittercress to lay its egg on the leaves. A moth that feeds on a range of Brassicaceae is the diamondback moth, Plutella xylostella. Like the Pyridae, it is capable of converting isothiocyanidus into less problematic nitriles. 
Managing this pest in crops became more complicated after resistance developed against a toxin produced by Bacillus thuringiensis, which is used as a wide-spectrum biological plant protection against caterpillars. Parasitoid wasps that feed on such insect herbivores are attracted to the chemical compounds released by the plants, and thus are able to locate their prey. The cabbage aphid, Brevicor and Brassicae, stores glucosinolates and synthesizes its own myrosinases, which may deter its potential predators. Since its introduction in the 19th century, Aliaria petiolata has been shown to be extremely successful as an invasive species in temperate North America due, in part, to its secretion of allelopathic chemicals. These inhibit the germination of most competing plants and kill beneficial soil fungi needed by many plants, such as many tree species, to successfully see their seedlings grow to maturity. The monoculture formation of an herb layer carpet by this plant has been shown to dramatically alter forests, making them wetter, having fewer and fewer trees, and having more vines such as poison ivy, toxicodendron radicans. The overall herb layer biodiversity is also drastically reduced, particularly in terms of sedges and forbs. Research has found that removing 80% of the garlic mustard infestation plants did not lead to a particularly significant recovery of that diversity. Instead, it required around 100% removal. Given that not one of an estimated 76 species that prey on the plant has been approved for biological control in North America and the variety of mechanisms the plant has to ensure its dominance without them, for example high seed production, self-fertility, allelopathy, spring growth that occurs before nearly all native plants, roots that break easily when pulling attempts are made, a complete lack of palatability for herbivores at all life stages, etc., it is unlikely that such a high level of control can be established and maintained on the whole. It is estimated that adequate control can be achieved with the introduction of two European weevils, including one that is monophagous. However, the USDA's tag group has blocked these introductions since 2004. In addition to being invasive, garlic mustard also is a threat to native North American pyrus butterflies such as Pyrus oleracea, as they preferentially oviposit on it, although it is toxic to their larvae. This family includes important agricultural crops, among which many vegetables such as cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, Brussels sprouts, collard greens, savoy, kohlrabi, and gailan, brassica oleracea, turnip, napa cabbage, bomdung, bok choy and ripini, brassica rapa, rocket salad slash arugula, aruca sativa, garden cress, lapidium sativum, watercress, nasturtium officinale, and radish. Raffinus, and a few spices like horseradish, Armoratia rusticana, Brassica, Wasabi, Euthrema japonicum, White, Indian and Black Mustard, Sinapis alba, Brassica juncea and B. nigra respectively. Vegetable oil is produced from the seeds of several species such as Brassica napus, rapeseed oil, perhaps providing the largest volume of vegetable oils of any species. Woad, Isidus tinctoria, was used in the past to produce a blue textile dye, indigo, but has largely been replaced by the same substance from unrelated tropical species like Indigofera tinctoria. Brass and asteroids are growing in agricultural and gardening importance. The brass acacae also includes ornamentals, such as species of Ethionema, Alyssum, Erebus, Albrida, Orinia, Carianthus, Erysimum, Hesperus, Iberus, Lobularia, Linaria, Malcomia, and Methiella. Honesty, Linaria annua is cultivated for the decorative value of the translucent remains of the fruits after drying. However, it can be a pest species in areas where it is not native. The small Eurasian weed Arabidopsis thaliana is widely used as model organism in the study of the molecular biology of flowering plants, and geospermy. Some species are useful as food plants for Lepidoptera, such as certain wild mustard and cress species such as Teratis glabra and Bocera levigata that are utilized by several North American butterflies. Garlic mustard, Aliaria petiolata, is one of the most aggressive and damaging invasive species in North America. Invasive aggressive mustard species are known for being self-fertile, seeding very heavily with small seeds that have a lengthy lifespan coupled with a very high rate of viability and germination, and for being completely unpalatable for both herbivores and insects in areas they are not native to. Garlic mustard is toxic to several rare North American pyrus species. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.